Hey and welcome to the channel. My name is Jonathan and today I'm going to be recommending three books. One of them is quite common for investors and the other two are a bit more unconventional and a bit more specific on picking good tech companies. Now if you do read these three books you will be a lot better equipped at picking valuable tech companies to invest in. I will explain why these books are invaluable, but if you do want to skip all of that stuff, then I will just link the books down in the description below. So feel free to go to those links. But if not, let's get into it. First one up is going to be The Intelligent Investor. This book focuses a lot on value at investing, and it makes you ask some really difficult questions about which type of investor you are, whether you judge a stock based on because of the hype around it, or you actually look at some fundamental facts on that stock and the company. Right now we live in probably one of the most uncertain times, especially when it comes to stock prices. You don't know whether a stock's going to shoot up or it's just going to plummet within the next week due to corona, due to inflation, due to a crash, due to, well, pretty much there's a million different factors that could affect the stock price and that is very risky when it comes to speculative investing. People nowadays seem to be getting caught up in the hype of when a stock goes up they buy it and when a stock goes down they sell it. This strategy is like waiting for something to no longer be on sale before you buy it, which is a bit messed up because you want to get it at the best price possible. You need to find out which type of investor you are, whether you invest by speculation because you think a stock is going to go up in value, or you invest in the company itself and hope that the stock actually goes up over a long period of time. Now, this book educates you on how to, surprisingly, be a more intelligent investor. This book is so important, in fact, it's probably one of the only books that I actually have that is a hard copy. The rest of my books and the books that I'm going to show you are all on my ebook. But this book I would, I would highly recommend. Next you have The Lean Startup. Now this book isn't normally on the curriculum for tech investors. It's more on the curriculum for tech entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs who are looking to make a new tech startup. But it does have quite a lot of really valuable points that translate over to investing which are great. With the way things are going, the, inevit the inevitability of a crash could happen next week, next month, or next year, or in the next decade, but it will happen. This book shows how small and large tech companies should operate in order to stay relevant. And if a tech company can stay relevant even after a massive crash in the stock market, well, then it's still going to be a good long-term investment for you. They always say you should invest in what you know. And if you know how a tech company, whether it's small or large, should operate, then it's going to help you understand and determine whether if something does happen and something goes wrong, you'll know whether it can survive, grow, and continue to innovate in the future. This will help you make better choices on which companies to put your money in. So understanding how tech companies work is pretty much essential. And this book does it in such a way that you don't need to know all the gritty details about every single aspect of a tech company. But let's move on to the last book, Zero to One. You don't have to have a billion dollar idea, you just have to invest in the company that has a billion dollar idea. And this book helps you kind of determine which companies in the future are going to be quite big company. There is three main lessons in this book. One is how to judge an idea of a company. Picking companies that actually have an original idea, something that they can build on. Not a company that's just reinventing the wheel, but a company that's building spaceships, but not actual spaceships because that's been done before. A product that is the first of its kind, that no one else is doing or no one else is doing well a product that just does it so much better. Second point is just companies that really don't have to compete. Companies that are a monopoly in a way of saying. Now I know monopolies aren't really a good word when it comes to companies because then they are, they are under threat of being taken apart by government. But most companies, if they are a monopoly, hide the fact that they're a monopoly and very rarely get taken apart as a monopoly. And tech companies, if they can maintain a monopoly, then they can be very, very profitable. And although monopolies aren't good for people in society, they are great for investors. This book explains how companies hide their monopolies and how they kind of push attention away from themselves. So the third lesson is the fact that 
when you're looking at a company, you should look if the actual founders are the ones driving the business. Because if it's the founders, then usually they're actually trying to build a business. They're trying to build their baby. But if it's like a second generation CEO who's just there to turn the wheels, most of the time they're just doing it for their bonus. And that's a really important point. If you read these books, you'll become a much better investor overall, not just in the tech sector. You'll become a better investor pretty much throughout because you'll look at the value of a company. You'll look at the value of the idea behind the company. If the market crashes and you can't cash out, then you want to be invested in a company that's going to make it through the hard times. Because if you're not, then you're likely going to lose quite a lot of money. And I don't want that for you and you don't want that for you. So read these books. Let me know what you think if you do read these books or if you've read them before. Let me know kind of the main points that you enjoyed about these books. But thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you did like the video, please, I would really appreciate if you like it. And I will link all of these books down below in the description. Have a good evening and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you very much. I will see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.